Hello everyone and thanks for watching this video. Uh, this particular video is actually going to be relatively short. It's about the annual chapter financial report checklist. This form is to be filled out and accompany your completed yearly chapter finance report as well as copies of your monthly quarterly statements and reconciliations of all bank accounts. Uh, and then provide a photocopy or a printout of the chapter's checkbook uh, as well. Uh, and basically this just serves as the reminder, uh, updates any contact information with the state office, and uh, has you sign the document saying that everything's been completed. So let's review this document really quick and go through filling it out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start up here on the employee identification number, the EIN. And again, in this example, we're just going to use a makeshift placeholder here. Uh, and again, uh, the chapter legal name, you would enter in your chapter legal name, uh, but um, this particular one, we're going to call it the example chapter. You want to list out your chapter president. and the address that's on file. And then an email address as well. Down here, you're just using these fields uh, to, uh, as a checkoff, saying that you've provided these, these documents. Uh, so the first one is provide a photocopy or printout of the chapter's checkbooks from the period of September 1st, 2010 through August 31st, 2011. Every year this form is updated because it's due to the uh, uh, fiscal year. Uh, the next one down, you'll check it says provide copies of monthly or quarterly statements and reconciliations of all bank accounts, CDs, and investment accounts for the period of September 1st, 2010 through August 31st, 2011. And the final one is provide a completed copy of the yearly chapter financial report. Uh, there is a uh, a video and you've probably already viewed that video showing you how to fill out that form as well. Uh, then you'll go down here and whoever's preparing this document would enter in their chapter title here. Most likely it would be the tre chapter treasurer, uh, but it could be the president. You'll provide a number here and then an email address. And that's basically it for filling out the form. It's a very easy form to fill out. Uh, what you'll do now at this point is actually print a copy of this form. Uh, make sure that you sign that though in this preparer's signature area right here. Um, so don't forget to sign the form and then attach all of the uh, accompanying documents to it and go ahead and get it sent back to this address. Um, I believe Jan, Jan and Wood and uh, Kathy Stewart will also accept this in email form if you have the ability to scan these documents and email those back. Uh, so either way would be f uh, fine. Uh, if you do have any questions though, please feel free to contact Janin or Kathy at the state office. And thanks for watching the video.